gonna make a veggie casserole that's really good, and so I thought I might share that recipe with you. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My mom and I are spending the day together. <clears throat> I needed some clothes, and she's in town right now. And where are you here, two weeks? Two weeks-ish. Yes. My dad's coming soon, but she's been here the first week without him. I needed clothes for Hope, and a little bit for for Noel. So the nice thing about when you're homeschooling, you don't have to run out with everybody. Some homeschoolers do, but you don't have to buy all the back to school clothing at the same time everyone else does. And I always love that because it's still warm and, but the bad thing is if you put it off for too long, when it turns cold, sometimes you don't have the clothing you need. And we found out I didn't have any clothing for Hope <laughs> for winter. So she had just like a shirt or two and one pair of pants. She had an accident and then I had nothing left to put on her. So today, that was the first order of business. I needed to get her a few outfits and so we went, found some cute things and Noelle needed a couple shirts. She had some pants but the shirts must have gotten ruined, the ones that were passed down. So got that taken care of and now we're gonna head, we had lunch. I never have lunch out with out children. Sometimes Solo comes and takes me out to lunch, but that's rare for me. Okay, I got a lot of people staring at me in this big intersection because I'm holding the camera up to my face. Um, I don't know if everybody's cities like ours, but when we get new stores, they're super crowded. I'm really hoping ours is not crowded. It's those chain stores that people kind of wait for. We got a Chick-fil-A and you literally couldn't go in there for months. <laughs> it was so crowded. <laughs> And I remember when Dunkin' Donuts first came, it was down one of the main streets on Sunday mornings. It was a, it was the way we went to church. We could, we could hardly, we had to go different ways because down the main road, the line was so far, the drive-through line for Dunkin' Donuts. Now we have several Dunkin' Donuts, so that's not the case anymore. There won't be anybody there. There won't? No, because it's an hour before the game. Oh yeah, we picked the game day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That helps. We're gonna check it out. I've never been in an at home before. I think it's like Home Goods. Home Goods is another one that was super popular when it finally came here. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of like that. And I love home decor stuff. I don't buy a lot of it because I don't want too much of it around my house, but I do like looking at it. And um, thought we'd take you in there in case you don't have one. You can see what it's like. So do you think that happens in bigger cities? You live in a much bigger city. What? Like oh, when a store oh, finally comes, no, it's it so crowded. There too. Oh, it does. Yep. It's just a lot of cities have the popular places already. <laughs> right. We're we're in a growing college town. We're about three hundred thousand people, I think, if not real close to that. And um, newer stores are coming here all the time, but not IKEA. IKEA probably won't come here. <laughs> Maybe Omaha. That's the one I really want. Oh, and Cheesecake Factory. You know oh, anybody who is, needs to open a cheesecake factory, Lincoln needs one. <laughs> There's not one in Omaha? There is one in Omaha. <laughs> That's the closest one. Omaha is an hour away from us, so, and much bigger. It's an hour before a game, and if you've watched our videos at all, you know Nebraska's nuts on game days, but this place is crowded. Shoot. <laughs> well, am I brave enough, guys? Am I brave enough to do this for you? Hmm. We'll see. Oh, I like that. It's under 10. It's like Target's dollar spot. And then look at this, guys. It's all Christmas. Look at this is the sale you walk into. Wouldn't that be pretty in a girl's room? I love it. It's a huge wall thing, and it's only, what? It's kind of like a cross between, it feels like Hobby Lobby a little bit. Like Lots that. of Christmas pillows. Lots of gingerbread people. Like like Home Goods and Hobby Lobby mixture or something. Yeah. Cute stuff. It's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> oh, look at all the blue. I love blue glass. That's pretty. Yeah, they color block it sort of. And then the, this is all animals. You yeah. can get chicks and hens. And then move on to elephants of every sort. <laughs> Dogs. Oh. Rabbits. <laughs> Balloons, look it. Ceramic balloons, llamas. Oh my goodness. Oh, balloons, I never got you. Balloons. This looks like something you buy in Kenya. Oh yeah. This is different than anything else I've seen. That globe is pretty. 
my mom said it's overwhelming too. That's my sentiment. I love shopping with my mom because she's like me. She likes to shop when she's in the right mood, but not for long. <laughs> so what do you need in your kitchen? This kitchen's for dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't like to shop too much, although she liked to grocery shop a lot more than I do. Yeah. Grocery shop is the only place I got to spend money and not feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't even care. I don't like to grocery shop. <laughs> I love those for a mantle fireplace. And they have different shapes. Very pretty. And the prices aren't too bad. These huge ones, 24. And then the wood accent one. They're pretty. The lamps are pretty, but look at these. They're interesting. Whoa. They're lamps yeah. in there. Huh. Very different. I love all the paintings and stuff. They're pretty, but the one, yes, that one is so cool. cool. She knew which one I was like, going for. That is awesome. We like planes in our family. We got a lot of pilots. My dad, my brother, they all fly. My grandpa and uncle. Oh my, we have a lot of pilots. Son. Yes. <laughs> Judah's working on getting his pilot's license. I don't think we have any store like this no. elsewhere in Lincoln where you have this much artwork because it's like aisle after aisle after aisle after aisle and lots of different variety. A lot of scripture pieces, maps, but then animals, but so much else too. Only bad thing about that is if you were looking for a piece, <laughs> It could be hard to narrow it down. I mean, it'd probably take you hours to feel like you looked through everything. <laughs> Mom likes this one. I like that. <laughs> a wreath that will never go bad. It's metal. But these are huge. <laughs> this is bigger than a lot of my kids. Three aisles of mirrors. There I am. Oh, waddling around. <laughs> All the back walls of mirrors. A lot of them. Oh, bedside tables are pretty. See this, son? Oh, that's why. What? Like that's that. why I got mine used. <laughs> one nineteen for the little one. Pretty though. I love that bedside table. The whole front is a drawer. Oh. And it's so unique looking with the gold legs. Mom likes that. There's some rooms. Oh yeah. I do have an idea for over my bed. I haven't decorated my room yet, and I want to one day. But <laughs> I thought about hanging a rug. I don't like these, but if I find a rug I like, hanging it above my bed. Just gotta find that run, one rug I like. <laughs> that one's kind of pretty. Sort of like the colors in there. But maybe more for a rug on the floor. My mom found these, which are rugs to go under your sink and stuff that are padded, only they're really long, which is nice. And they would wipe up easily, which is extra nice. <laughs> this one looks like a basket weave. Let's see, it's a thick. It's kind of cool. There's, they've got a lot of them. I bet they would really help with your back. Used to be this the one only can tell you your The only one you could buy was this. Yeah. <laughs> now they've, now they've they have. This one looks like an antique rug, but it's oh, padded. It's yep. Wipeable. Nice. Really long. That is nice. That's cool. I'll come back here next time my rugs get ruined, which eventually happens. Nope. Nope, not too. <laughs> 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 That's good. Here, look at this. Don't go broken, yell ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors have better stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, apparently they have a lot of furniture. Couches, mattresses. We didn't know what we got into. Uh -huh. That's cool. They have all kinds of stuff here. Who knew? Are they comfortable? I don't know. I love that oh, one. That and it's, it's super comfortable. I like that it doesn't have arms. Uh -oh. yeah. If the cushions come off easily, that's what the kids would do. Take them with cushions off, which is not cool. Oh. It Velcros, right? Oh, I guess it does. You take this off and then it sticks to the back. Oh, I love it. Oh, but I don't see it. But well, yeah, I also see. love the color, but would I regret it? Yes, probably. People with young children always try to buy white couches and they always regret it. <laughs> so pretty though, it looks cleanable. Cleaning it is the well, other thing. I would, it get clean? would I clean it? <laughs> no. Oh, look at those stools are cool. Are they long benches? Wow. Every retro color 
They've got some fiddle leaves here. I think they look a little fake. But pretty. Oh, and that one's like an olive tree. All right, I found my weakness area. The rose. They're all amazing. I could take them all home. How many do you have? <laughs> How many do you have? My kids, <laughs> my kids ruin them, so then I gotta get a new one every season. <laughs> They're really soft. They're really nice. So many bedspreads and quilts. Quilts are hard to find. Nice quilts. I love this color scheme. This is the, most, the softest blanket you would ever feel. And then it has this pillow that's super soft too. And then the yellow. I mean, it's really pretty. You gotta admit, it's very pretty. It is, matches your shirt. Oh, my box with dreams coming oh. true. <laughs> Here, look, you can even get a. Wow. Never have to trim it. It's constantly trimming. So cool. I love them. Oh, that's cute. It's cushier than that other gray one. Sit on oh. it. Will we get you out? <laughs> <laughs> it is comfortable, isn't it? Yeah, it's comfortable. It's very dark. Yes. Right now we have. We have a couch punching a hole in a wall. <laughs> we got a really cheap couch in our piano room years ago and just for a season. And look, no loose cushions. It's still there. Nobody can take cushions off. Oh, that's the best. Because they're, they're stationary. No extra pillows. Well, you could add pillows. No, but... that's good though. They just take them off. And look how long it is. It's long. It's very modern. The only problem is when there's two cushions, only two people sit on it sometimes. No, no, no. Not my children. They're so wide. There's no way. Yeah. I like it. You could get one, two, three, four people on here. <laughs> yeah. And because the cushions are connected, yeah. they're not going to split. It seems very sturdy. I wonder if there's a place to read um, reviews. Well, your house would test it. Oh, I like that too. That'd be a toss up. But this is, the price says it's obviously not real, so it might not last a well. The boxwood just keeps going. <laughs> All your pillow dreams come true. Outdoor rocking chairs. Oh, that looks so tempting. I might not get up if I sit in one of those. Oh, that's <laughs> Tons of stools back there, too. Man, I think they have enough outdoor furniture. It's not gonna be warm here again until April or May. These are based for women. Yeah. Why? Because they're, they're shorter. Here. Oh, shorter than the legs. They're nice. Big Christmas. Everywhere Christmas. Christmas is all right next to the outdoor furniture. Oh, look at Hope. <laughs> <laughs> We got hope placements. Like I mean, that. they have everything here. So many those things. Are pretty. Oh, those are pretty. They're cut out. Yeah, that's very nice. Yes, those are snowflake placemats. Yeah, so it's one, two, and they pack three, of five or something. Four, four. only for twelve ninety nine. <laughs> Napkin rings, and reindeers, oh, like <laughs> and these. jingle bells. Just a pretty nap. Yeah, I love the hope bowl. Oh, the hopeful. Yeah, hopeful. Can't believe we're looking at Christmas Look. stuff. <laughs> it's like mesh that's stiff. Oh. And here's a gold one. Oh, weird. Pretty. Yeah. There was so much stuff there that we bought nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's typical of us, though. Do you know that feeling? <laughs> like, it was overwhelming. It's a really big store, and then there's just a lot. It's definitely a home goods. Hobby Lobby kind of mixture bigger a lot bigger um, but I was surprised at how much bathroom and bedroom bedding all that kind of stuff they had and yeah lots of great options definitely a place to check out I had heard that their prices are kind of high oh, really? I didn't think so at all no. yeah we we found some great deals like beautiful some beautiful throws for your couch <laughs> which I do love and some of them were, a lot of them were $10, so, I mean, maybe they weren't very big, but, yeah, they, they had some great deals there, and way too much Christmas, and a whole lot of Halloween, so, anyway, that was fun. Thanks for checking it out with me, Mom. Do you have a hat at yeah. home? Uh, no, I 
I've heard of it, but I haven't been in one before, so I don't know if we have one. Okay. Like you say, I'm not a big shopper. Yeah. <laughs> so she lives in Jupiter, Florida, which is near West Palm Beach. Back yes. behind her there is our Chick-fil-A that we finally got. <laughs> we had so much fun. Even when we were at Walmart for a little bit, um, I ran into an old classmate from nursing school, so that was really fun. I haven't seen her for a long time. Last time I saw her, I was shopping too. <laughs> but it's fun to see her, and anyway, we're back home, rested. I have to take things easy, I have to go slow. But I'm gonna make a veggie casserole that's really good, and so I thought I might share that recipe with you. We actually have a friend coming into that town tonight for a week. He's not staying with us, but we'll host him a little bit, and he is vegan, I think. And so this vegetarian casserole, I'm gonna make one, I'm gonna triple it and make one of them vegan so that if he comes over, we have something to serve him too. So I'll show you how I make it. I cook my black beans ahead of time, all my beans actually. I buy them in bulk so you don't see me buying them every month. And then I cook them in huge batches and freeze them in mason jars. One time a mason jar is cracked. Otherwise I've never had any problem with them. I need a can of black beans for each one. So I pulled out three jars this morning and just put them on my stove and now they are thawed. So I'm gonna rinse and drain these. Oh God. Really? This is her new jacket she got. This, one's, this one was from Sam's Club. Actually the outfit under it was too. It's, it's really cute. It's a lightweight shirt. We have kids swimming out there. It's not that cold. <laughs> While I was there I picked up some tortilla chips because the kids love this meal with chips and I just didn't happen to buy any this month. I haven't bought them for a couple months. So since I was in there anyway, pick those up. Okay, so this is just frozen corn. I just use one bag. Um, I don't keep canned corn either, so I don't actually have enough corn for all three of them that I'm gonna make. So I think I'm gonna replace these two with peas, some frozen peas I have. So here are the other two bowls with black beans and I just did about a cup and a half to two cups of peas. Next I'm gonna add a can of diced tomatoes to each one. I, um, if I had it, I would add the smaller cans of tomatoes with, with peppers in them that you can buy. They're like 10 ounces, but I just don't have those. I had some, but my kids made some last minute chili that also wasn't in the menu plan, like this, and they used them up. So I'll stock up on those. The homie. Okay. Next I'm gonna do one cup of sour cream and one cup of picante or salsa in each one. I left the sour cream out of one of them for our friend to make it vegan. Next is two cups of brown rice, and I didn't have enough for all of them, so I'm making some brown rice while the first two are cooking. I'll make the brown rice for that one. And then we're gonna do one cup of shredded cheese. You can do any kind you want, like pepper jack or whatever. I'm gonna use this Mexican style, because it has a mix of a bunch of them. Yum. Two cups of brown rice, one cup of cheese. I'm obviously leaving the cheese out of the vegan one. If I was really good and prepared, I would have some vegan cheese or something. Um, but it's just gonna be a lot different. Finally, I'm just gonna sprinkle some black pepper in each of them, maybe about a fourth of a teaspoon. This one's missing the brown rice still. And this one's my vegan one. My brown rice I also pulled out of the freezer. Sometimes when I wanna pre-cook things, like on Tuesdays I often do some pre-cooking for the week, I will cook up a lot of brown rice because that does take time. And if you forget to do it, you gotta wait for it. And so I'll cook up a bunch in a pressure cooker and if I have too much leftover, I'll just throw it in the freezer. So this brown rice actually came out of the freezer too. I my casserole dishes. Of course, one of mine is still waiting for brown rice. This is my vegan option. This is my regular one, only replace the corn with peas. I'm gonna bake it. 350 for 50 minutes and I sprayed the pans first with a little of this olive oil spray next on my regular one I'm sprinkling some more cheese if I had green onions I would definitely put that on both of them please ignore how dirty my oven is <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like at the end. And um, like I said, we serve it to the kids with chips. They love it. I've even taken it to friends when they have had babies and they love it. I like this meal because it's good, it's easy, it's cheap, and it's healthy. That's the best. How's that apple? Good. <laughs> okay, here is the final product. This is the one with cheese and sour cream, obviously. Peas. This is the one with corn. And don't forget, if you try it, try it with, if you like 
spicy, try it with the tomatoes with diced chilies in it because it kicks it up a notch and it's really good. Those of us who love pepper in this house will just add some sriracha probably to the top of it. A great meal plain, a great meal with chips, a great dip, however you want to eat it, it's a good one. Thanks for watching today guys. We are going to eat and enjoy our friend who just arrived and we'll talk to you soon.